Hi everyone, it's Derek from the Are You Ready podcast and this is my reaction to the 1-0 victory against St Johnson in the Premiership tonight. The three points, that's all that matters. It's going to be a fairly quick reaction pod because there's not a great deal to talk about in the game. It was a fairly placid performance, I would say, fairly poor, but we're not always going to run out and win 5-0 like we did against Ross County or anything like that. St Johnson, we knew it was going to be a hard game. They, they've had a good run of form just now. They're hard to break down and again, they proved that tonight and it taken a moment of magic from Hadji to, to break that deadlock and, and get the three points ultimately. Both halves were were really quite similar to be honest. We started off fairly brightly in the first half. It was a fairly open game. Then St Johnston reverted into a, a really defensive game. That's their prerogative. We've got to break it down as we've always said when we come up against defensive teams like this. They were putting 11 men behind the ball. We were doing well. We were retaining a lot of possession, passing the ball about well and then we got to the final third and then we just stopped and there was a fair few occasions tonight where we'd done all the hard work we got the almost sometimes man advantage going forward and then we just stopped it's almost as if we've run out of ideas that allowed St Johnson time to regroup and then we had to build it back and start again but this time with with uh, 11 men behind the ball so that's something that we need to work on and just be clinical don't be afraid to lose possession and as long as we've got our wits about us at the back then we can afford to lose possession uh, we, we need to have that chance though and that's that's been the disappointing thing about tonight but again I'm not one to reel against the players because we got the three points at the end of the day and we're not always going to win uh, spectacularly oddly enough though in the first half it was our keeper that, that had to pull off the, the better of the saves that we had a lot of chances where we put it wrong side of goal we never made the keeper work enough St Johnson forced McGregor to make a save on the 18th minute when they got down the right hand side and they got a shot off at the near post and McGregor had to make a save with his feet at the near post and put it out for the corner that's really the, the, the long and short of it in the first half Apart from there was a, I know it's going to get talked about in the media because it already has on Twitter. Is Roof got booked for a challenge? I felt it was a booking. It wasn't anything, anything special. But folk are saying it should have been a red card. We all know that we've been given retrospective action, even though the referees dealt with that at the time. We'll just need to wait and see what comes with this. And. In the second half, we did start off a lot more brightly. There was a lot more intent to our play, a lot more direct play, and we did eventually score on the 52nd minute with Hadji scoring. The ball played to Hadji on the right outside the box. He drives it in at the middle with intent, and he hits a shot to the right. It outfoxes everyone and into the back of the net. Just a, a fantastic individual goal. Great initial play to find him in the, in the first place through it in a crowded area. But he only had one intention when he picked that up, that, that ball. Drive in and hit a shot off and brilliant goal all round. Not much else happened. We retained a lot of possession. St Johnson were quick when they did get the possession. They did get quickly up the park uh, and they caused their defence a couple of issues. Not too much though. It was always broken down. However, on the 70th minute, McGregor was forced into two saves. They had a quick break. Worked to the left side. Quick inwards pass to find the attacker from 25 yards from goal who hits a shot. A big block from McGregor. The ball was not cleared properly. It was eventually allowed back to their attacker who took a run into the box, beat a couple of players who just weren't wanting to put the tackle in and he hit another shot and McGregor had a great one-handed save on the deck. Really poor just allowing the, the attacker to waltz through there but uh, that's why, why you've got a great keeper as well at the end of the day. He's part of the 11 members. I never like when folks turn around and say, ah, you, you're lucky because the keeper was, was great today. Well, that's his job at the end of the day. So... We got the three points, that's all that really matters. If I've worked it out right, then I think we've only got six more wins to go and that's us champions. All depend on what, what Celtic do, of course, in their games. They've not been great shakes, so we'll, we'll need to wait and see. So, Dave and I released episode 14 of season 8, our latest episode in the early hours of this morning. So if you want to listen to that, you can go to all the usual podcast outlets that you've got, as well as our website, which is iReadyPodcast.wordpress.com. So onwards we go to Hamilton at the weekend, where it's on Sunday at midday. It's at Hamilton's ground, so artificial grass. So uh, we need to just hopefully we, we get the result and don't pick up any injuries. So all that's left to say is thanks for listening. And goodbye.